There are two valuation reports available within the reporting menu of Club Inventory. The valuation report by category and the receipt of goods report. They both tell you how much you have of something and how much it's worth. Their only differences are that one looks at categories and the other only lists the received SKUs. In this video, we will discuss how to utilize the valuation report by category program. First, navigate to Club Inventory, Reports, Valuation Report by Category. Select the appropriate club code if you have multiple setups and enter or select an inventory area from a lookup list in the area field. Select the report format to either keep it current or specify the as of date. If you opt for the latter, the field below will become active, allowing you to choose the desired date. Note that this option is only available if you are using average as your costing method. Decide if you want to run the report for all, selected, or a range of categories in the category reporting field. If you define stock locations, you can select a specific one to use for the report. If not set up, leave the field blank or press enter to get all locations by default. The last number of fields set options for filtering or controlling the appearance of the output report. Select the totals only field to suppress all details. Select the subtotal by location field to create a subtotal after each stock location. Use the print retail price or value field to decide which money to show. Use the negative value field to decide how to treat negative values encountered on a report. Should they be suppressed or set to zero value? To shorten the report, use the suppress zero quantities field to drop those lines with no quantities to report. You can also suppress inactive SKUs and Bob SKUs if needed and include non-updated POS chits on the report, which are the POS chits that are closed but have not been posted by the end of the update. Once done, select the print button and select a printer to produce the report. Thanks for watching, stay tuned for more how-to videos and don't forget to subscribe.